Madina Road, also home to leading automotive distributors and as well as leading automotive brands in Saudi Arabia, showrooms uh, of supercar brands, Lamborghini, Mercedes-Benz, uh, Ferrari. What basically I want to explore is the relationship between superheroes and supercars and is there any supercar available here that we can see, we can uh, have a look at and that may allow us to fulfill our superhero fantasies. I'm going to be checking out the supercars I found. My focus is going to be on Batman and basically the cars that I have shortlisted, the supercars I have shortlisted, in my opinion, they serve as the best inspiration for Batmobile. In 1941, Bill Finger, the writer, decided to take what Bob Kane had been drawing and dub it the Batmobile and then working with Jerry Robinson, craft it as something that began to look a little darker, a little bit more serious, and a little bit more bad. The relationship between supercars and superheroes is not something new. In the good old days, we were accustomed to fairy tales that had knights having horses, horses being portrayed as a symbol of heroism, whether it was the Arab culture or otherwise. People who grew up in Saudi Arabia in the 80s, they ended up watching TV series like Knight Rider, The A-Team, Magnum P.I. All of these three were fan favorites, not only because of their heroism, but also because of the cars they drove. Supercars have been part and parcel of our favorite heroes since the 60s. It started with Adam West's Batman. Uh, the Batmobile that we saw in that series was a Lincoln Futura. The company has the basic car that we used. I bought the concept car, the Futura, from Ford Motor Company for one dollar. It gave me pieces already that I can make fit. The popularity of 1966 Batmobile paved the way for both uh, film producers, directors, as well as comic book artists to experiment with various other brands of supercars and use their imagination to create affinity between supercar brands and Batman fans. I just visited Mercedes-Benz showroom and luckily they were displaying SLS AMG. It's one of their supercars uh, that uh, made its way much later than uh, SLR. Now, over the years, I've always had this feeling that Mercedes-Benz was offering one supercar model after another that would work really well either with Bruce Wayne or with Batman. Now, the good thing that happened for us was after so many decades of seeing Mercedes being a preferred car for the Russians or the French or the bad guys in James Bond movies Mercedes finally got itself in the Justice League movie. But at least the SLS AMG provides a base for anyone who owns this car or for anyone who wants to imagine it as a Batmobile to work on it. Afterwards, we decided to pay a visit to another supercar showroom whose models were used in Christopher Nolan's Dark Knight trilogy as well as comic books. These models bring out the imagination. If you own a supercar and you love Batman, you can easily customize your car accordingly. But even if you're not an owner of, a, of these supercars, get an illustration done. You know, there's a lot of relevance 
between these fictional characters, these supercar automotive brands, our lifestyle, and our love for these superhero fantasies. Uh, if it's cosplay on one side, then there's customization of the vehicles on the other side. You know, the good thing about imagination is there are no limitations.